Good morning, everyone. We're here at the Avon Docks. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day. Let's take a look and see what we've got in here. So here we have one of our newer viburnums, Viburnum Spice Island. Look how clean that foliage is. Picture perfect. Very good performer, Viburnum Spice Island. Here we have an industry standard, Penicinum Hamlin, dwarf fountain grass, three gallon, about 15 inches across, beautiful crop. Here's one of everyone's favorite, Hydrangea Little Quick Fire. Here's an industry standard. Bird nest spruce in a three gallon. That thing's close to 18 inches across. Nice, heavy, beautiful color. We also have two gallon Carl Forrester grass. Starting to scape out, looking really good. Two gallon Carl Forrester. Here we have 15 gallon Emerald Green Arb. Smogard Arborvitae. Nice, thick, full, nice shape. Great value. Here we have a rose, one of our newer ones. Oh so easy, double red. Beautiful foliage. Starting to bloom. Showing some color. Oh so easy, double red. Look at this beautiful plant here. Wydelia wine and roses. They got flower on them, beautiful foliage. The entire crop looks like this. Wygelia, wine and roses. So here we have some double knockout red. Look at the color on that. Bud and bloom. Lots of new buds coming on. Those should fly out of your garden center. Over here's peachy knockout. A nice new one, beautiful color, different shade of peach, peachy knockout in a three gallon. So here's another oh so easy variety, hot paprika. Look at the color on that thing, just jumps right out at you. Over here we have oh so easy double pink. So we had double red previously. Here's double pink. Nice bright pink color. Also from the greenhouse department, look at these hookara. Look at the size of these things, they're huge. Beautiful color. This block is picture perfect. Brunera. These are Brunera Jack Frost. Look at this palette right here. Hydrangea Little Limes. Clean foliage. Look at that beautiful plant. Over here we have some double pink. Knockout in a three gallon, bud and bloom. And then everyone's favorite, endless summer hydrangea, three gallon. Look at that flower color, beautiful. Some more double knockout in a three gallon. We have Physocarpus summer wine black. The dark color on the foliage. 
Here's some three gallon knockout. Bud and bloom looking good. Here we have a hydrangea bloom struck. Just starting to show a little bit of color. Here we have some tiger eye sumac. Beautiful color. And right next to that, Ramnus Fine Line, seven gallon. Nice clean foliage, full plants. Looking really good. So here's some three gallon limelight. Nice clean foliage. The plant's going about 18 to almost 24 inches tall. Beautiful shape. Behind that we have more Wigelia wine and roses. There's some Pierre's Mountain Fire, three gallon, and there's spilled wine. This, this is Lamium. That plant, you can't tell from uh, this camera, but that's about 15 inches across. I'm just starting to get some bloom, a little bit of flower right there. It's a one gallon. It's a great value there. Lamium. And here we have Dianthus Painted Town Magenta. Look at the flower color on that. So here we have some boxwood. This is seven gallon Cranberry Creek. Nice looking plants coming off of a trim a little bit. Some new growth popping out there. We have some green gem boxwood in a three gallon. Beautiful small little leaves on that. And here's some new gen boxwood. The latest greatest praise. This one's Independence. That's a three gallon. Got just a little bit more tighter growth, if you will. And here's a two gallon Freedom. This one's got a little bit more of an upright growth to it. This color on this thing. Viburnum prunifolium summer magic. The new growth comes out, the red tint to it. Nice clean leaves. Beautiful foliage on this thing. It's a reddish fall color. Nice sturdy stems. Here's another in the Oh So Easy series. Oh So Easy Rose Italian Ice. Look at that multicolor flower. It's got orange, yellow, pink. Awesome color. It's Italian Ice. Right next to it, we have Pieris Katsura. Look at that new growth. Deep red, gets a pink flower, early spring. Pieris Katsura. Here we have some more hydrangeas. Hydrangea Limelight in a three gallon. And here's a favorite. I drained your Bobo. That's a three gallon, going about 15 inches tall. Just a little bit smaller than the limelights. Beautiful foliage though. I drained your Bobo. We have some three gallon Texas Hicks Eye. Those are going almost 24 inches tall. Nice lush green. Looking good. Here's another favorite. I drained your summer crush. This is the latest, greatest thing. Just starting to show a little bit of color. It's a 
beautiful pinkish reddish flower. Hydrangea Summer Crush. There we have more Endless Summers. Here's some seven gallons Margaret Arts Emerald Greens going about four feet tall. Beautiful shape on those things. Nice clean foliage. This crop's looking really good. Here's some quart coleas from the greenhouse. Just awesome color in these things. So here we have the petite knockout rose. Smaller structure, smaller flower. Beautiful dark red flower. Foliage is a dark color, kind of shiny. Petite knockout. Really nice little plants. Here's some two gallon drift roses. This drift series is just beautiful. Look at these red ones. Bud and bloom. More buds to open up. Red drift. Can't go wrong with this one. Solid performer. Here's an awesome little plant. Hydrangea. Little quick fire. That's a two gallon, roughly about 12 to 15 inches across, 12 inches high or so. Nice clean foliage. Starting to develop some flower buds. Little quick fire. And right next to the little quick fire, we have drift pink. Pink drift rose. Brilliant color on these, just beautiful. Heavy bloomers. It's pink drift. This is a little big blue. That's an industry standard. Beautiful clean foliage. Look at that block. The ripey big blue. Right next to it, we have Hydrangea Blushing Bride. Nice white color flower. Just starting to show color. Starting to bloom. Blushing Bride. Here's another of everyone's favorite, Hosta Patriot. Clean foliage. Nice looking plant. Hosta Patriot. Here's some more Wygelia, spilled wine. A few flowers on them. This crop is completely consistent all the way across. Wygelia, spilled wine. Here's a couple of nice spirea. In the first edition series, we have spirea pink sparkler. It's got a little bigger leaf on it. Really nice plant. Pinkish white flowers. And right next to it, we have spirea doozy. This is really nice also. Look at that red color. That red is brilliant. And right next to the doozies, there we have some more Summer Crush. This is a two gallon. Look at that flower color. Summer Crush Hydrangea. Here we have a really nice looking gray owl juniper. Beautiful color. Look at the size. It's a good heavy 18 at least. Here's another cart of Mandevilla from the greenhouse department. Blooming, just beautiful. Okay. 
And here's everyone's favorite. All gold forest grass. Very hot seller. Beautiful color. Right next to that, we have flats of Pachysandra. Nice full, new growth, looking good. There's an old standby. Texas Hicksi, seven gallon, going about 36 inches tall. Nice and full all the way around. This crop is beautiful out there. Texas Hicks Eye. Here's some five gallon Texas Ward Eye. Coming off of a trim. New growth coming out on them. Clean foliage, consistent. Texas Ward Eye. Here's one of my favorites Corey Dallas. And a one gallon. Look at that yellow flower. Very nice. A bluish cast. It's Corey Dallas. More petite knockout. Looking really good. This coral knockout over there, that's a nice color. Coral knockout. Some succulents from the greenhouse. Spirea double plate gold in the two gallon. This is Coral Drift, part of the Drift Rose series. Boxwood Green Gem in a two gallon, looking good. Some three gallon bowling ball, another popular favorite. Roughly 12 to 15 inches across. Here's Aronia Lowscape Mound. Felt all the characteristics of an Aronia, which is a very lower, shorter grower. Lowscape Mound. Over here we have an awesome grass, one of my favorite. It's called North Wind. It's the American Beauties program. Here's a nice holly, Ilex Willimer. Nice and dense, real small little leaves. Another great performer, Ilex Willimer. But right next to that is Rose at Last. These are fragrant, very nice roses. Beautiful peachy color. Peachy orange color flower. Here's an interesting plant, Thuya whipcord. Kind of different, kind of unique. Bisocarpus Amber Jubilee. Nice color in that foliage. Some more Carl Forrester, two gallon. Seven gallon mops, beautiful color on those. Seven gallon burning bush back there. Those are a good three feet tall. Nice and full. Here's a nice hydrangea. Invincible Spirit 2. Foliage is looking really good. Some flowers are just starting to form. 
Nice texture on the leaf. Invincible Spirit 2. We still do have B&B available. It's all above ground. Basically pre-dug. Here's a few pieces right here from the Huron Farm. If you need any B&B, be sure to check the availability or check with your sales representative. And they can tell you what's available. An old favorite, it's by Rhea Goldmouth. Beautiful foliage, consistent quality, consistent crop. Spirea Gold Mount. Right next to that, we have another old favorite. Winter Gem Boxwood. And a three gallon. That's a heavy three. It loves Hosta Francie. Hosta Francie. So here's another Aronia. Low scape hedger. So we had the low scape mound, which is the smallest one. This one's hedger. This is, gets about three to five feet tall. Not as big as the regular standard Aronia we're all familiar with. Compact, controllable, still has your nice fall color. Hydrangea firelight. Beautiful structure on that plant. That's about 18 to 20 inches tall, roughly. Firelight starts out with a white flower and turns to a red as the season progresses. Very popular, great performer. Hydrangea Firelight. So here's a new one. This is Spirea, Pop Rocks Petite. Real compact. It's two to three high, two to three wide. Nice clean foliage. Here's the oh so easy Italian ice again. We saw earlier, right next to it, is the petite knockout in a tree form. These are interesting. Great for a patio or a deck. Another cart full of annuals from our greenhouse department. Really beautiful material here. Looking great. So here we have ficus brown turkey. Nice new crop. Clean foliage. Roughly 15 inches across. Ficus brown turkey. So here we have Euonymus elatus compact of Bernie Bush. These are 15 gallon. That pallet has five of them on there. That's it, only five. They're a heavy four feet across roughly four feet wide. These things are just giant, heavy grade, fantastic value. It's 15 gallon, Euonymus Elitis Compacta Burning Bush. Just beautiful. Some more racks from the greenhouse. Beautiful stuff. So this wagon just came up. Let's take a look at it real quick. Look at the color on this thing. Got some Euonymus, some Gaetis, some Drift Coral, some three gallon Coral Knockout. Three gallon double pink knockout. La 
lots of buds yet to open on those. Some more red drift in a two gallon. Some drift sweet. Same as this one here, drift sweet. Regular knockout. Three gallon double pink. And three gallon blushing. So here we have Juniper Gold Lace. Beautiful color. All consistent, nice and fluffy. Juniper Gold Lace. So that's the tour of the Willoway Dock today. Hustle and bustle, lots of movement going on. Danny always says, let's hope we're loading this truck for you.